So yeah, a couple of guys that I watch over on this channel called In The Cut Entertainment. Uh, pretty good guys. They've done numerous, numerous reactions to music videos and comedy videos and so you know they 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 do real good reactions real good reactions and i have a lot of fun watching them like some of the shit they said just just low-key cracks me to fuck up it's great um but i was watching it earlier and they have this one um it's a video by uh starks tv called awful rapper shoe deal roast part one and they did a try not to laugh I gotta say, they try not to laugh at it, it's hilarious, because, like, watching these three dudes try to stifle laughter is the funniest shit ever, like, I get more fun, I, I, I get more laughter out of watching them try not to piss themselves laughing over some funny shit than I actually get out of the videos themselves, that's kind of fucked up to say, but, like, <laughs> their reactions are funnier sometimes than the actual videos, so, yeah. I saw this one, I got like a little bit of ways into it, and I was just like, I right, fuck it, you know what, I'm gonna try it, let me see, let me see, let me see exactly how I could do this, and this may not, this may be cheating, because my face isn't on here, but if I'm laughing, trust me, you'll know about it, um, anyway, this is Starks TV, off a of rapper shoe deal roast, part one, and here we go. <laughs> Seriously, I just want to know Yo, what the fuck they the get that sound effect from. The shoe industry is a multi-billion dollar business, made popular mostly by athletes, and has became trendy in hip-hop culture. So trendy that they started doing deals with the rappers themselves. But just because it's a popular rapper in a popular company doesn't mean they come out with a popular shoe. Oh, boy. Let's get to it. First up on the goddamn list. We got the Jay-Z S. Dot Carter Reeboks. What the fuck was you going through making these motherfucking niggas? How you going to be the best rapper in the game with the worst feet in the game? These motherfuckers look position authorized, my nigga. I don't get it. I really don't. They're simple, low-key sneakers. What's so bad about like I'm not a sneakerhead, so like I don't understand what's bad about these. Like they're normal low key sneakers. They're white with a green tip, red laces. The design looks fine. I okay. Sure. It looked like you made these motherfuckers with Miff Bleak's album budget, nigga. The type of shoes that your stepdaddy gets you for Christmas just to show that he's there to fuck your mama. I only had $33, and part of that it. was the condom budget. I don't get it. Hey, baby, come pick me up. My doctor's appointment said 11.30. Look at that shit. Okay, these are ugly as fuck. Jay -Z, if you don't get out I'm not gonna lie. Like, these these aren't so great. Yeah, I'm gonna talk. And you gonna listen. Behave your life. What's wrong with these? These look like a lot of Nikes that are out on the market now. Except, I mean, these are obviously Reeboks, but like... The front of the shoe, like, all this design stuff here, like, the front of the shoe, this, this stuff here, all that, it's the same profile as, like, a Nike SB or some shit like that. Like, I don't know, I'm, again, I'm not a sneakerhead, but, like, it's the same profile as a lot of, like, low-cut sneakers. What's so ugly about these? I mean... Maybe you got a little, little, little bit of a fuck up right here with the stitching. You know, maybe you should have folded this, folded this over just a little bit more, so that you know, cover up this little white line right here. You know, get this whole stitching to be, get all of this, this piece here to be blue, or you know, maybe add like a little bit of decorative stitching going down there. You know, to kind of cover up all that white. You know, just like roll that over, so it, you know. But like, I've seen a lot of shoes out here, motherfuckers out here be wearing shoes that look just like this so what's so ugly about this my dude like that is just old young life south central og bobby johnson looking at his shoes man get the fuck out of here man with these high top rockefeller heelys nigga you gotta skate at the bottom of that bit right, nigga, i can't say man, nothing take about off these. running and glide 23 feet in anger oh my god yeah i can't say nothing about these these look like shoes you'd give to like a five-year-old uh 
Yeah, 50 Cent came out with some motherfucking G-Unit sneakers by Reebok. Man, shaped the same way Jay-Z shit was. You like know what the all-white fun... Mario bullet. The funny part about this is, niggas was rocking this hard. They were rocking this fucking hard. So, yeah, let's... You know what? I'm gonna let them continue. That nigga 50 got some Ur Hood respects. Because, you know, any nigga wearing these in the motherfucking hood is crazy in the motherfucker. Why? You talk about them shits, that nigga go straight through your pockets. Why? Oh, oh, my shits is funny, huh, P? You, you like laughing at these, huh, P? Run that chain, nigga. Fuck's wrong with you. It's the shoe a substitute teacher wear when you gotta go to an urban school for the day. What up, y'all? My name is Mr. Ryan. I graduated in 2012 with a major in education. And if you turn to page three, you'll see I have on G-Units. I mean, these are oh, best dress sneakers. Oh, I see raised up. Question there, Mr. J. Terry. Hold up, nigga. My name is Terry, nigga. The J is silent, nigga. Why are you in class with a G-Unit wife beat on? Okay, now, ain't I no excuse to for this shit. long and hard about how many homies you know that wore the G-Unit wife beaters and ain't looked at a gym and... To be honest, these things look like somebody took a, a woman's spaghetti strap dress and just cut the bottom off, hemmed it, and called it a wife beater. These things are ugly as fuck. Ten years. But these ain't about, like these ain't about the tops. This is about sneakers. Every nigga wearing one of these bitches is in a midlife crisis. I know an OG wearing one. This nigga 56 and can't figure out why he's single. <sighs> How can we talk about rappers with shoe deals and not bring up Birdman? With the specialized Birdman looks. If the design means was anything like Birdman's versus B, I understand exactly why the shoe is shaped like it is. Like, I, I really don't get it. This looks like a normal shoe. This looks like a normal shoe. Same profile. Same sole. All this shit is the same as shit that I see dudes out here wearing all the time. I, I don't get why this is a bad shoe. So, Mr. Birdman, how would you like your shoe designed? Look here, Lambo with the Lexus leather in it. I got a bad bitch. She's in a Ferrari Spider. Yellow Diamond Isis. 100. Ah! Man, these shoes ugly in the motherfucker. Goddamn Air City Bus mufflers. Goddamn Waffle House security guard boots. If you stomp twice, the bird will fly off that motherfucker and go and find help. Say, water, why you keep throwing paper at me? Oh, my bad. I thought them was trash cans. Look at that shoe. I, I, I really like don't bands, get it. Like, two creepy kidnapper bands on his feet. I mean, oh my God. I mean, all right. So, the, I mean, you can get rid of the Velcro. Like, get rid of the Velcro. But if you're wearing these the way they're supposed to be worn, the cuff is, you got some cuff jeans over the top. The cuff's going to come down to about here. All you're going to see is the black outline. The soles are a little thick. Who gives a fuck? Like, I... I... Okay, whatever. This look like he got two creepy kidnapper bands on his feet. Oh my god! I mean, how ortho can you get with these motherfuckers? Uh, here's the prescription for Lord Tap, and you have to wear these bird bands for 12 to 6 weeks. Sole on that shoe thicker than delicious from Flavor of Love. Come on, bird man, with these Animal Planet Suwu Nikes, nigga. Alright. I can't fuck I with these. Make a pair of these. I really you can't fuck with these. And dip the skin in cherry but I'm not Her really a huge fan of those. Boots. I told myself I'd never buy some boots from a nigga who got 16 Spanish Christmas ornaments tattooed on his head. These look like knockoff Tims. Like, we were all rocking these in the hood. Like, we were all rocking these when these came out. Don't lie. Don't lie. You know you had a pair, your man's had a pair, your man's man's had two pairs, one one in this tan, one in this orange color, or whatever the fuck color this is, tan, whatever, and one in black. Niggas was rocking these. Niggas still rock these. I don't get it. This is going to become a recurring theme, I think. Like, so far, I just, I, I really just don't get what's so ugly about a bunch of these. Like, alright, them red fucking gator looking shoes, alright, now nah, fuck them things. I was not a, no, I'm not a fan of those. But like, so far most of these are just, they just look like normal shoes. Most of this is gonna get covered up by pants. What's so ugly about this boot? I bet you if you drop in from a two-story building, you can crush a Buick. Didn't feel like I got desperate and signed this rapping forte offspring looking ass nigga. I bet you a total of 14 people bought these motherfuckers and two of them wouldn't Hurricane Chris. Alright, first of all, wow, the Williams sisters called, they want their fucking hairstyle back. Second of all, those things look like fucking space boots. Funny part about it is, this kind of cut is really super popular with a lot of basketball sneakers. Alright, I'll give you this one. 
I'll give you this one. I ain't fucking with these. Cool looking ass shoes. I bet you put these motherfuckers on and start tiptoeing automatically like the floor is wet. This nigga got beads in his braids. Like I can't fuck with these. Hey boy, motherfuckers is ugly. I bet you if you hoop in these, you'll turn both shoulders smooth at the socket. These super duper yeah, high no, top Yeah, no, I can't fuck shoes. with these. Nigga, you go to the court lacing these motherfuckers up. By the time you get done, this fourth quarter with 30 seconds left. This one and I can fuck with. These still make burnt CD mixtapes and label them shit like Earl's Hot Mix 2016. These oh I can fuck with because I like this design. I know right now y'all like, what are those? Yeah, no, these really. are the first Yeezys ever made. Although Kanye Yeezy makes with Louis Vuitton and made these motherfucking eclectic taxi gas pedal looking ass shoes. The starting price for these was seven hundred and fifty dollars. To be fair, Yeezys are ugly and Yeezys are ugly as fuck regardless. Like, to be absolutely honest, keep it exactly one hundred percent. Yeezys are ugly as fuck. I, you you can't change my mind. These, on the other hand, are a special brand of ugly. I don't know what's going on with this here. It, it's like a wink that fucked a moccasin. And that happened. The design on this one, I'm okay with. It would be nice if I could see it as a side profile. But the design on this one, I'm kind of okay with. I'm not so okay with the straps right here. But I'm assuming that this one and this one are pretty much the same design. Um, again, not a fan of the tassels on the laces. Um, not really a fan of this right here. Not really a fan of this right here. So, nah. But again, it's it, if it, if these are Louis shoes, that would explain why they're ugly, because, well, Louis makes some ugly shit. Niggas just buy it because it says Louis Vuitton on it. I think this might have just been an experiment to see what niggas would spend their money on, and you know, there's at least one dude that has all of these. If these were released, there's one dude that has all of these. But like, yeah, no, um. Not feeling this one. Not feeling this one. This part here on this one is what bugs me. Okay, because this, these two right here, this one, this one, like all of them kind of look like bumper cars. Like these three right here kind of look like bumper cars because they got that fin on the back, you know, with a pole would stick up on so you could fucking connect with electricity so you could drive around. That's what that reminds me of. Like I know what it's for. It's a pull tab so you can pull your shoes on, but like not a fan of this like if you were to take that off this shoe would be fine and you know get rid of these things because you know I would if I were to buy this shoe I would cut that off like I would cut that down if not cut it off entirely and I would sand this right the fuck off granted you're charging seven hundred dollars for these I wouldn't pay seven hundred dollars for sneakers if they came with Beyonce's big ass big forehead ass I would actually pay less for that because yeah, I'm not really a huge Beyonce person. Sorry to the 50,000 of you out there that are offended by that. Um, but, like, yeah. See, the tassels work here on this one just simply because it's kind of... It kind of blends in, but I'm still not a fan. This one I can fuck with. Bitch, if you don't do half a backflip and kill yourself, Kanye killed the game with Nike. Shit broke up and he came oh, out with Adidas this one. with these Yeezy boots. These are three hundred fifty dollars shoes. Yeah, no, Bitch, fuck you. Bitch, when has Adidas charged three fifty for anything, Nick? One small step for my and looking at his shoes. These bitches look like you a pair of winter socks with a sole on it. You are not Same wrong. Same colors a country crop butter bowl. You are not I wrong. Can't lie, presentation is everything. In this picture, these motherfuckers look kind of fly. They kind of moon booty, but they work. Look like you can kick a nigga in his shin and make his mama need surgery, nigga. Damn. Yeah, you make good music, up. but I ain't spending three fifty on some shoes that look like SpongeBob townhouses. Nah. You got right. some air washer and dryer plugs. Yeezys with satellite and Yeezys with cable. Woof. See how these motherfuckers look in person? You don't Woof. get these dual cake batter bags off my feet, nigga. Woof. Not my three fucked. Nigga, try cross somebody on some of these, you're gonna turn your ACL, PCL, MCL, MTV, BET, and your VH1, nigga. Oh my god. This video has been brought to you. Yeah, he's not wrong. See the rest of my videos, follow the hashtag StarksVids, and follow me on ChristianMingle.com under Larry Lord's Rod. Okay. I mean, he made some pretty good points. Made it all the way through that without laughing, though.